Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another quick flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to code this sushi shop restaurant app. I found this design on Dribble and I thought it looked pretty good, so I'll link it below. And for this one, let's start on with the intro screen and then let's slowly build on from this and make it more functional. By the way, if you're a beginner trying to get into app development, I wrote a little handbook for people like you who have no coding experience at all. I designed the book with a complete beginner in mind, so the book starts off with the basics of programming and then I show you all of the essential widgets and concepts for you to start building apps yourself. This is a book that I really wish I had when I first started Flutter, so yeah, I hope this helps the beginners out there. I'll have it linked below. So I've opened up a brand new Flutter project and just to keep everyone on the same page, in my main function, I'm running my app, which brings us to this intro page. And I've got this organized in a folder called pages. And this one just gives a blank scaffold. So you should just have a blank white app like this. Now, the first thing to do is I'm gonna bring in some images that we wanna use. So I have this folder called images. So if you wanna know a good place to get some icons and images like this, I highly recommend flaticon.com and so here you can just search whatever so I'm just going to search sushi and you can get whatever you want so yep have a look at this website and so I've prepared my four little images I'm going to use for this app and so once you've got the images ready let's open up your library and just drag your images folder in so if you come back to the code we have to tell it that we're going to import some images so go to your popspec.yaml and you can see down here let's uncomment this assets and just specify the folder where you placed it so let's save that and just while we're on this popspec.yaml let's also come up to the dependencies and i'm just going to add in a google font package so this will give us access to some cool fonts later on so save it and once that's done let's close this file and let's start building it out. So for the background color, it's kind of like a some type of red maroon type of color. So I'm just gonna pick what I think looks good. And for the body of the scaffold, it's just gonna be an overall column. And I always like to have a bit of a plan. So the first thing is the shop name. And then we're gonna have a image, like an icon. Then we're gonna have the title, subtitle, and also just a button at the bottom. So let's start building this out. Now if I type sushi man as the text, you can see it's scrunched up in the corner. So I'm just going to put in a sized box. You can also use something called a safe area widget. But for this one, I'm just going to use a sized box and some padding. Cool. And for the font here, if you look at the style, I want to start typing Google fonts and then you can import that package. And the font I already found was this one. So DM serif display. And so if I just restart this, you can see there it is. It's kind of a cool font, but it's gonna to need to be much bigger. And also let's make it white. Great, now let's use another size box just to space this out a little. And beneath that, let's have our image. So you can just bring in whatever image you want. I wanna use this eggs one. Cool. And let's just add some padding again just to bring it more in the middle. And if you look at this overall column, everything's kind of aligning to the middle. So I'm gonna change this cross axis alignment to the start. So all of our children is gonna to align to the left. Great, so let's just continue going. Now we wanna have the main title here, which is the taste of Japanese food. So let's just grab that Google font again, but maybe make it a bit bigger. That's looking pretty good. And this size box, I'm just gonna make it a height of 10 because I wanna put a subtitle underneath this. And we're going to just use a normal font for this one. And because it's a subtitle, I'm not gonna make it completely white. I wanna make it kind of gray. And the last thing is the line height, tightly packed together. Let's just make the height maybe two. All right, that's looking pretty good. So let's do one more size box. And the last thing we need is a button. So for this one, I'm gonna create a, another folder called components. And let's just create our button here because I probably wanna use this button later on in the app as well. So this stateless widget, we'll just call my button. And so if you think about what we want to vary between button to button, it's going to be, first of all, just the text, right? So let's just require that as a parameter. 
Now the color of this button, I'm just going to grab that background color we had from before. And let's just change it up a little bit, make it make it a little bit more lighter. Right, so let's just see how this looks so far. So let's say my button, you can see there it is. Let's just press enter. And for the text, I'm just going to say get started. Cool, so there it is. Now we have a lot of improvements to make on this button. So the first thing is the padding. There we go. And the text itself, I want it to be completely white. And now let's wrap this widget in a row because I also want to display like an icon. But we're going to have to make it white, of course. And maybe add some space between these two guys. Great. And then the last thing is I want this to be in the middle. And of course, you all know I don't like sharp corners. So let's border radius and curve this guy. Sick. And that's looking pretty good. Now, the last thing I like to do with these columns is just make the axis alignment to space evenly to kind of fill out the rest of the space appropriately. So I think that's looking pretty good so far. Now the next thing to do is to hit the button, get started, and we're going to show this next page, which I'll show you how to do in the next one. And we can slowly start building this restaurant app out. It's like a delivery app, so yeah, we have many more functionality and pages to fill out. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.